Hello, welcome to watch Creative Proteo Mix video. Today, we are going to learn some basic knowledge about protein sequencing of Edmund degradation. Edmund degradation, which was developed by Per Edmund, is a method to sequence amino acids in a peptide. In this method, the amino terminal residue is labeled and cleaved from the peptide without disrupting the peptide bonds between other amino acid residues. The Edmund degradation reaction was automated in 1967 by Edmund and Beggs to speed up the process. Now, automated Edmund sequencers are used widely, and it can sequence peptides up to approximately 50 amino acids. Cyclic degradation of peptides based on the reaction of phenylacetheocyanate with the free amino group of the N-terminal residue such that amino acids are removed one at a time and identified as their phenylthiohyde and twin derivatives by chromatography. Speaking of the specific process, a peptide is reacted with phenylacetheocyanate at the amino terminus under mildly alkaline conditions to give a phenylthiocarbonyl derivative. Then, under acidic conditions, the thiocarbonyl sulfur of the derivative attacks the carbonyl carbon of the N-terminal amino acid. The first amino acid is cleaved as its anilinothiazolene and derivative and the new amino terminal is left for next degradation cycle. Once formed, this thiazolone derivative is more stable than phenylthiocarbonyl derivative. The anilinothiazolene and amino acid is then removed by extraction with ethyl acerate and converted to a phenylthiohyde and twin derivative. The phenylthiocarbonyl residue generated by each cycle of Edmund degradation is typically identified by chromatography. By repeated degradations, the amino acid sequence of some residues in a protein can be determined. High-pressure liquid chromatography provides a sensitive means of distinguishing the various amino acids. Gas phase sequinators can analyze picamole quantities of peptides and proteins. With mass spectrometry was developed, the use of Edmund degradation sequencing began to decrease. However, it stills remains the methods for several types of protein structural analysis applications. It can be used to verify the N-terminal boundary of recombinant proteins or determining the N-terminus of protease-resistant domains, particularly when the protein or domain cannot be readily purified. It also can be used to identify the new N-terminal and proteolytic cleavage site in the protein fragments. In addition, as to some novel proteins and peptides where sequence databases are not available for mass spectrometry database searching, Edmund degradation can be used for analysis. As the N-terminal amino acid of the protein can be cleaved off, the first cycle identifies the exact N-terminal amino acid. In addition, because the released amino acids are identified and quantified by chromatography, the amino acids with identical molecular weight can be identified. For example, isoleucin and leucin have a mass of 113 Da, but they have different retention time. Moreover, Edmund sequencing can be performed on PVDF blots from 1D and 2D gels, which enables N-terminal sequencing of proteins in the mixture. However, Edmund degradation sequencing will not be available when the peptide whose N-terminus has been chemically modified, such as acetylation. And as the phenylacetheocyanate cannot reactive with non-alpha amino acid, sequencing will stop if a non-alpha amino acid like esospartic acid is encountered. Moreover, larger proteins cannot be sequenced and the positions of disulfide bridges cannot be demonstrated. At Creative Proteomics, we can provide N-terminal sequence analysis by both Edmund and mass spectrometry of therapeutic proteins, monoclonal antibodies and protein vaccines. In our view, Edmund sequencing and mass spectrometric analysis can provide complementary information. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable services for protein identification not only Edmund sequencing but some other technologies. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.